Hi guys. So before we get started, let's just discuss my hair. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, this is nothing new to you. I colored my hair for Toronto Pride or World Pride as we hosted it this year. And no, I did not color my natural hair. Like I didn't bleach it. I just put the Manic Panic over top. And Manic Panic is a vegan vegetable based hair dye that is semi-permanent and will wash out. It's really washed it a lot already and it will go back to my natural hair color so all that work I've done hasn't been put down the drain for this but it's gonna be like this for a little while until it rinses out these pieces are just extensions that I've had and colored before so yeah anyways now that that's covered uh, let's talk about the video this is going to be my May June empties video um, I've got quite a bit in this bag, as you can see here. So, let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing I have is this Sweet Fluffy Cupcake Philosophy Body Wash Shampoo, that sort of thing. I only use it for body wash and bubble bath. I didn't use it for shampoo. Um, it smells amazing. This one came out in the holidays. Uh, it just literally smells like a frosted vanilla cupcake so if that's a scent that you're a fan of then definitely um, check out the philosophy scents. They always have different ones out all the time and they're really really nice. Next I have this body scrub. It's all bent up. Um, it's the Vermont Honey Apple Body Scrub from Bath and Body Works. I really like Bath and Body Works body scrub. This one was super moisturizing and it left like sort of an oily residue on the skin. So like a moisturizing one that almost repelled water. So I definitely would suggest if you get one like that with that really heavily oiled moisturizing base that you use it first and then lather your body after to get rid of that kind of oily residue unless that's something that you like. I personally don't as I mostly exfoliate when I'm going to be self tanning and I don't want that barrier of that residue between my skin so the self tanner can actually penetrate my skin. So, but I really do, you know, like the Bath and Body Works scrubs. I just wish that I didn't have so much of that residue in it. But not all of them do, just this one in particular did. So that's what that one looks like. That one came out in the fall. Yeah. All right, next is a shampoo. I think I have the conditioner. Conditioner. Yeah. So my Biolage Exquisite Oil. Another one bites the dust. This is my favorite shampoo and conditioner of all time. I've got another one in my shower right now. It, you know, I don't usually venture off of these unless there's something new that I want to try. Uh, but I always go back to these. They're my tried and true favorite. You guys know that. Um, they're always in my empties videos. So those are them right there. Next is a um, eye makeup remover. This is my Rimmel London Eye Makeup Remover Gentle Eye Makeup Remover Oil Free and it removes waterproof mascara. This is fantastic. It works really well. It's super gentle. Like It's not oil free so it doesn't leave any greasy residue on the skin and it really does remove, you know, tough to remove waterproof mascara. So I really like it and this is a consistent repurchase for me. got this um, pumpkin caramel latte deep cleansing hand soap antibacterial from Bath and Body Works. This is from their um, fall collection. You know, you buy stuff and it takes you a while to use it up. So uh, this is a great smell. It's literally just like a sweet caramel latte. It brings me back to fall and makes me miss it. So uh, yeah, that's these are my favorite um, Bath and Body Works, the antibacterial ones with the uh, little scrubby things in them. So I really like that one. Next is a hair product. This is the Moroccan Oil Root Boost. I talked about this in my uh, current hair care routine video, like what I use hair care product video. I will link that down below. There's quite a few products in here that are empties that I even showed in that video. Um, this one I repurchased. This has been the first 
root boosting product that I truly loved and has really worked for me. Uh, like I mentioned in my hair video, everybody has one that's different. What will work for one person might not necessarily work for another because all of our hair textures are different. But this one in particular works amazing. It doesn't leave a buildup and it makes my hair like Texas big. It makes it so gorgeous, doesn't make it greasy, um, and the volume lasts until, you know, pr probably about two days until I've got to use dry shampoo to get it back. But it's really fantastic product and I'd highly recommend giving it a try if you're on the lookout for a new root volumizer. Next is the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap Leave-In Treatment for Distressed Hair. This, again, I repurchased. Um, it's, it's funny, I, I'm pretty loyal to hair care products as I am a professional hairstylist. I've tried everything under the sun. Um, I love trying new products, but when I find something that works, as I said with the shampoo and conditioner and stuff, I'm really loyal to it. So this is one of those products. The protein in this is synthetic, so you can't over-protein the hair, which is really fantastic. So for someone that steers away from keratin or protein, definitely, you know, this one won't cause any effect to your hair in that sense. Just a couple pumps on wet hair on the mid-shaft and ends, and just helps from getting split ends. I haven't given my hair, like I really cut my hair a good, gave it a really good cut in February, and I'm trying to stretch it out until um, October, only because my brother is getting married in September and I want my hair to be as long as it can. I'm going to trim it before then, but I really want it not really give it a really good cut until then. And this is what helps me stretch my haircuts out and help my hair to grow really long and without breaking. So I definitely would suggest giving it a try. Plus it lasts a really long time. Like I think this bottle lasted me like eight months and that's a really long time. So yeah, give it a try. Next is a candle and I didn't even finish this candle because oh my gosh guys. Uh, this is the White Barn Lavender and Vanilla Candle from Bath and Body Works. And the smell is fantastic. It smells like vanilla and cologne, I find at the same time with the lavender in it. It's very musky. Um, but I, I lit it in my house. I had company over. And for some reason, if, I don't know if you can see how black that is. But I had it sitting out where I have all my candles sitting out and it smoked so bad that the black like went all the way up my wall and like looked like it was going to like stain my wall. I had to scrub my wall off. It was like black soot all over it. So I found this one might have been a safety hazard so I personally never used it again. Um, but the smell is, is really nice. So... Um, yeah, I never had an issue with a uh, Bath & Body Works candle before like that, but I'll probably end up steering away from this scent in particular in the future, for myself anyways. Alright, we've got the Pure and Simple Skin Drink Unscented Hydrating Lotion. So this is organic, um, what is it? This is, yeah, like... Organic, all-natural skin care product. It's it's sold in a select few or online. So yours, you know, your place where you get your skin care probably it will or won't have it, or they could be able to order it for you as it's a specialty line. But it's really nice. The, my only issue with it is how little you get. I went through this so fast, so I won't be repurchasing it because it's $21.95 for 50 mils, okay? So tiny. And my moisturizers usually last me at least three months. This one, you know, lasted me maybe a month and a half. So, I mean, for 20, almost $22, I really don't think that it's worth that kind of money. Uh, it was a nice moisturizer, but it didn't do anything spectacular to make me want to feel like I could spend that money and have it be worth it. You know, so I definitely will skip on this, purchasing it again, um, but, you know, it was nice. Alright, I've got two foundations here. I've got a drugstore and I've got a high-end. 
my Lancome Tin Idol, I finally finished it. Oh, words can't explain how much I love this foundation. Like, oh my gosh, velvety, creamy, smooth, long lasting, great for oily skin, you know, wears great throughout the day, great for sweating, great for any climate, um, full coverage, just flawless, you know, just, just flawless. This foundation, like, I cannot talk about it enough. I definitely will be repurchasing it. I've got some other foundations that I'm going through right now, so I'm not going to run out and repurchase it until I kind of get through a few more, but this one for sure is fantastic. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. If you have tried it, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, if it's one that you haven't used recently and you have in your collection, pull it back out and use it and fall in love with it again like I did because it's phenomenal. So, there we go. I mean, and I actually like unscrewed it and like used it up like completely. And then this is the Rommel Stay Matte. People either love this one or it doesn't work for them. This one worked for me. I have a first impression on it on my channel. I will link that below. Um, it worked for me. Full coverage. This is a very thick, moussey consistency, so you can definitely feel it on the skin, but it really held up on my skin. It made my skin look really, really nice and matte, and I personally really liked it, and it's fantastically priced, so I definitely will be repurchasing this one. All right. More. Oh, my God. More hair product. Okay, I've got... A hairspray, the Garnier Fructis Hold and Flex Body Boost Spray, ultra strong. Now, I won't repurchase this only because it's too strong. <laughs> I'm not one for super, super strong hairsprays. I like more of a medium flexible hold because I, I'm a hair toucher and I don't like that crunchy kind of feeling like my head is just one giant hair piece, can move in the wind kind of thing. So, but if you like really strong hold hairsprays, definitely check it out because it is fantastic if you like strong hold. So, that's what that one looks like. Uh, but yeah, if you don't like strong hold, stay away. I've got the Biolage Exquisite Oil um, for Fragile Hair. This is my second bottle. This one is the Fragile Hair one. My other bottle that I showed in my hair care video is the original formula. This is my favorite hair oil. I currently did not repurchase it only because I have an It's a 10 one that I'm trying to go through. Um, but when that's done, I'll, I'll go back to this one. So it's fantastic. I definitely would suggest checking out the Exquisite Oil. The whole line is great because I use a shampoo and conditioner. Um, and this is just a nice addition to those two products. All right, I've got a Joyco Instant Refresh Zero Hold Dry Shampoo. Love it, so good. Finally, a high-end dry shampoo that I like. I'm actually using another one um, currently by Redken that I really, really like. Um, I just opened it, but this is the Joyco one, and it's great. I haven't found a salon quality one that I liked yet. I'm a Batiste girl, but if you are a salon hair junkie, um, definitely give this one a try. It's been the best so far, in my opinion, from a salon that I've found, and I really enjoy it. Next, we have the Dove Go Fresh Restore 48-hour um, antiperspirant. Um, I didn't like it. I haven't used Dove antiperspirant in a long time, and it wasn't strong enough in the scent department. So I like the scent is really pretty. It's like a fig, fig and vanilla kind of scent, um, but it just wasn't strong enough. And I mean, when you can like, like, you know, I'm not a huge sweater, but like when you can smell yourself, it's uncomfortable. And um, you definitely want a, you know, a deodorant or any person that's gonna hold up for you. And this one just didn't do it for me. So if I did like the formula, I just didn't like. Um, the way that it, it it smelled on me throughout the day. I've got the Amala Rejuvenating Serum. I showed the um, face cream in my last empties, I'm pretty sure. This, again, just like that one, is amazing. Bang for your buck. You get, like, 
3.4 fluid ounces and it's certified natural organic dermatologist tested not tested on animals vegan uh, amazingness um, you can get it at amalabeauty.com so amalabeauty.com um, it's just it's phenomenal and I definitely will be repurchasing this oh it just smells so good it's like the best face serum ever and it's made in Germany Avita Zen oh, oh, oh. that's German right Avita Zen alright last two body sprays um, I've got the Forever Red Vanilla Rum, did not like this at all. It made me feel like I was going to, not hurl, but like just, just scent, just, you know. I liked it and then I'd get a weird whiff of it and then I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm, nope, mm, mm So if this one ever comes on sale, like again in the holiday season, I won't be purchasing it. This one, however, is... Oh my gosh, amazing. I showed a big bottle of it that I just purchased in my recent haul video. Um, but it is the Tokyo Lotus and Apple Blossom. And I'll say it again, this is the best scent that Bath & Body Works has ever released. Oh my effing god, like words can express. It's, okay, first of all, fruity and floral scents are my all-time favorite. This is both fruity and floral floral so I am in like scent heaven with this oh my gosh like I wish it was a permanent I just I wish it was a permanent scent um, I wish they made the perfume out of it because instead of just the body spray because I would have loved a perfume in this scent so Bath and Body Works if you're watching please make it permanent at least because I will forever forever be purchasing it um, but you can still get your hands on it, I definitely would suggest it. Um, I know that they had it on sale at the semi-annual clearance sale. So that's what that one looks like. Alright, my floor is now a disaster zone. Covered in empty bottles. So, hope you guys liked my empty video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you tried any of these products and what you thought of them. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.